Alright, today we're going to be making a realistic water effect inside After Effects with no third party plugins. It'll be like a ocean water effect. So let's go ahead and create a new composition. I'm going to name mine Tutorial. Let's go ahead and create a new solid. I'm going to name it Water. Go to Effects. Go down to noise and grain, fractal noise, fractal type, dynamic, noise type, linear. Let's go ahead and set our contrast at right about 120. Our brightness at about negative 5. Our complexity about 4. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and scale this up to about 150. Let's animate position, so let's animate the offset turbulence. Go ahead and click the stopwatch. Put you on your keyboard, go to the end of the comp. And let's make this about a thousand. And then bring this keyframe past your comp so it won't end right at the comp. And we'll go ahead and use these, these keyframes. And then let's alt click our stopwatch on our evolution. And then we'll do a quick expression time 150. And I think we're good with the fractal. So let's go ahead and put some color on it. So go up to effects, color correction, tritone. Let's do our mids. We'll do a blue color. I think that'll be fine. Let's do our shadows. And shadows again. What the heck? And then do a little bit of a darker color here. So I think that should work. Do our highlights. So I think we're done there. Let's go ahead and pre-compose this layer. Move all attributes. And then we're going to go down to effects, stylize, CC class. This is where it really starts looking like water. So the softness, 40. Let's go to our height. And we'll go to about... 70. Displacement, negative 100. And as you can see, we already have a little bit of a effect going here. It's already starting to look like water. The edges, we need to scale up a little bit, so let's go ahead and put the S for scale and go to about 110. Alright, now to sell it even more, let's go ahead and create a text effect. Let's go ahead and make a text effect. So let's, I don't know, see water. And let's go ahead and go effects, blur, vector blur. Um, let's do about 10 maybe. And let's set the opacity for about 75 here. And I think we get there. So let's go back into our comp layer, double click, and then copy it. Click back out, and then paste it into this comp. And we're going to delete the tritone. And then, let's see, click the eye, whoa, let's pre-compose this, and then name it this face. 
Do all attributes, click OK, click the eye off, and then go to our seawater layer, go to the effects panel, distort, displacement map, and then set these to about 20, put the max horizontal, 20, the max vertical, displacement map layer, displacement. So as you can see, now as we go ahead and play this back, it's our our animation is affecting our text layer as well. So it looks like it almost is floating in the water. And I think that's it for today in this tutorial. So if you guys like this tutorial, hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna start making more tutorials and just a little bit of motion graphics videos, you name it. Alright, thanks.